Welcome to the third lecture for week two. In this session, we're going to talk about the pillars of success. And this is not necessarily measuring success, but rather accomplishing these three pillars are the things that pretty well set the fact that you're well on your goal to be a successful campaign. We're also going to talk a little bit about a value proposition, and I'll spend a few minutes on the assignment that is due this week. So pillars of success, and, and we call it the pillars of success because over and over it's been proven that once these three are accomplished in the beginning of a marketing campaign, that you are getting closer to guaranteeing that your campaign is going to be successful. The first of that is to actually define the campaign. And while this sounds extremely simple, it is easily overlooked. And by defining the campaign, you're just simply naming it and giving it a description, something that everybody can understand what it is you're talking about. This avoids any kind of misconception. It makes everybody clear what your campaign is all about. It also helps differentiate it amongst any other campaigns the company is undergoing at the same time. Uh, another pillar that helps ensure that you're going to have a successful campaign is to set the objective. And we've talked about objectives several times, but it is so important. You need to have a clear objective as to what is going to be accomplished by this campaign. Those objectives are what's going to drive the rest of the activities and drive the rest of the, of the campaign. So the objective needs to be very clear, and it should not be just in broad terms. It should be specific. It should give a specific objectives. They need to be something that is measurable. They need to be something that's realistic. They should have some kind of time constraint to them. They need to be compatible with the overall business objectives. And, and they need to be something that you can, you can actually measure in a timely manner. For example, a good business objective would be increase sales by 20% in the next two years. Okay, that's very specific, and it's timely, it's realistic, it's, it's something that you can measure against. That's the kind of objective you want. You don't want an objective that says, make the company better. What does that even mean? Or increase sales. It's too broad, it's not specific, it doesn't have a time frame, it's not measurable. You have to have something that is more specific for your objective. That should be set before you ever start going down into the, the path of creating your campaign. And then third is value proposition, and that is what we're going to talk about for the rest of this lecture. So value proposition is going to talk about um, your benefits, it's going to give you some points of differentiation from your, your competitors, and it's going to provide value to the customer, and that is key. Uh, too many companies try to set a value proposition, listing the values as they perceive them. And it's not values based on the company's eyes, it's the value based on the on the client's eyes or whoever your end customer is. There are a lot of values that a company may bring to it that the customers don't care about. And if they don't care about it, then it's not something that needs to be part of your value proposition. So when you talk about value proposition, and this is a good example on the slide, uh, if they list all the benefits, okay, that's fine. If you list favorable points of difference, and that's differentiation from your competitors or from the alternative to using your product, that's better. But the best value proposition is just what the customer wants. It should be from the customer's point of view, the benefits that they care about. Sometimes it's difficult to break through that. I've seen times where everybody wants to list how great they are and all the good things they do, and they're all valid points. But just because you have low employee turnover may mean nothing to your clients. So while that may be a good point of your company, and your company really cares about its employees, and it really takes care of them, but if your clients don't care about that, then it shouldn't be in your value proposition. So you need to do something that is important to your clients. This is a template that can be used to help set a value proposition. Uh, this is one that you're going to use for the assignment this week. So for the top of the customer set, and that's simply your target market. So who is this particular campaign targeting? You want to put that in there. List some problem needs, list what's value driver to them, give some competitive positioning, and then evidence how you are superior in that way. Um, if you use this, you will ensure you'll have a higher ROA, especially if you're if your message is tailored to a specific target market. Um, that can be difficult to do, but if, if you'd rather than trying to be all things to all people, determine what is the value to a specific target market, and that's the value proposition you want to promote. You will end up with a, with a higher return on investment by doing that.